Yes, I'm back with a new video. In the previous video, we learned about JavaScript and how the web pages actually work in a browser environment. Now, in this video, we'll learn about how is JavaScript code executed in our browser. So, how is JavaScript code executed in browser? So we will completely demystify this uh, theory behind this and then we will start uh, coding in subsequent videos. So how is JavaScript code executed in browser? So not just in a browser but typically in any environment where you run the JavaScript code. So let us say you write your JavaScript code in a file. So this file is .js file and you have written some JavaScript code in this. So you want it to have some effect on your web page. So if we talk about the browser, the environment where you run your script with. So then we have one most important thing that is built into any environment where you want to run JavaScript code. So it is called as the JavaScript engine. So you basically feed your JavaScript file into something called as the JavaScript engine. Okay, so it is built into the browser as I said and there is the Chrome browser in a uh, there is a Chrome browser, it is V8 for Google Chrome. And then it is we have Spider Monkey for Firefox. So Spider Monkey for Firefox. Now and of course we have other browsers that reuse these engines or have their own engines. Now the job is the engine is basically to parse the code that you write so the very first thing that the engine will do is let me select some other pen okay so the job of the engine is basically to parse the code so it will take your JavaScript code and will parse it to parse it means to read and understand your JavaScript code and then on the fly compile it to machine code so it will compile it compile your code that you have written into something called as machine code. The machine code is something that is very low level and that is very very close to the machine. So this code can be easily understood by machines but a normal developer cannot understand this code because a normal developers like us we can only understand code that is written in high level programming languages like JavaScript, C++, Java but we cannot understand the code that is written or that is written for machines okay so why this compilation from the high level language code to machine code is required okay because you know the very important thing that you should know is that the machine code executes faster okay this machine code executes faster and that is why this compilation is required so that the machine can easily read parse and understand your javascript code and then the compilation to machine code ensures that it runs faster it reads your code but will not execute it like that okay instead it takes that code and compiles it to this machine code so we got this conversion we compiled our code to machine code which is very much closer and very uh, it, is, it has a close affinity to your machine and then it executes the machine code. This all happens within the browser with the help of JavaScript engine. Okay. And then when the code is executed, we can see the effect on our browser on a web page. So we will see effect on our web page once these steps are done. So parsing of the code, compilation of the code into machine code, then execution and then you see some effect on the web page for which that code was written. So this is how JavaScript is executed in a browser. Now most of the engines uh, might have optimizations on which they are built up and they start executing your uncompiled code and then they can compile the code whilst they are already executing it to get started executing faster. And then they switch to the compile code dynamically and so on. So 
the browser will take your built-in code will compile it it can optionally optimize it as well so optionally some engines prefer to optimize your code so optionally optimization can be done and then executes it this is all is required for us to know now as a side note you should take a note that all of this happens on a single thread so your javascript code runs on a single thread so hope this is clear now javascript code is basically a task for your computer you can think of it in this way which you uh, which your operating system has to take care of this task is what is fed to the operating system and this runs on a single thread now of course we have multi-threading in today's modern machines so that they can do multiple stuff at the very same time but javascript code execution runs one single thread there now uh, let me summarize everything that we have learned in this video in form of a diagram so do, uh, so you can easily understand and easily correlate this with the diagram so let me make up some space okay so i will erase this so if you find this important do write down in your notepad so it could help you in interviews as well so let us erase this And let me draw a clear diagram to summarize what we learned in this video. Okay. So I will select a pen first. So you write your code. Okay. So this is your code that you wrote. Your code. Now, uh, what will your code be without feeding it to JavaScript engine? So you have to feed this to something called as a JavaScript engine which is unique for all the browsers that are there okay for chrome you have the v8 engine so i'm assuming we are using chrome here so you are feeding your javascript code into v8 javascript engine okay now once uh, this is done after that you will see some effect on the web page okay so we will see some effect on the web page effects will be visible on web page then what you need to understand is so built into the browser uh, not browser <laughs> browser we have v8 uh, chrome engine and spider monkey for firefox and we also learned that whatever code you write okay so your code the very first step is to parse the code so that it is easily readable and understandable to the javascript engine now this code will compile down to a low level machine code so compile to m hyphen c i'm writing this for machine so compile to machine code and then after this step is done we will execute the machine code so execute machine code and then you see some effects on your web page okay so all of this code is running on a single thread as i discussed okay so this is all about how is JavaScript executed in the browser. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot guys.